Oh, the new music. This song's good enough. This was done to celebrate just Yuri Mod's first year anniversary. And because the update was released in West Time, I essentially missed her birthday. Was there an actual event planned? I, I, I was thinking of just changing my calendar. Just to experience it, but it doesn't seem like anything much happened. Oh well. Sucks to be Asian. Wait, what? You call this slow? You call this slow? Wow, my settings are weird. I don't like this new choice system. Why why can't they just fucking make it just like every other after story mod already? Just Yuri mod devs, why? Will it, would she have like, hmm, I wanna see what they have want, but here's, here's my nickname. That's a Japanese word. Here. You may, which means dream. Ho 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 ho. I'm so clever. I changed a single kanji from her name and now it means something completely different.
What the? I just wanted Yuri. I mean, yes. Yuri also means smart and all that jazz. Come on. <laughs> Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> Alright, she didn't have any comments. I prefer swords over knives, actually. No new conversation topics. I have dreams involving all of the girls. If not, I have dreams about other games that I've been in, that I've already played as well. If not, then I just dream something psychedelically weird. That's my dreams in a nutshell. Anyway, let's see. I want to see what if she'd react to any of the default answers. Mm, single lines. God, I don't like this. <laughs> Yeah. I am. I'm a completely different person when I'm at home and when I'm and when I'm outside. It's really strange, but that's just how society, like, that's just how life makes you go. Although it's mostly I'm different when I'm recording myself and when I'm not recording myself, maybe. But depending on who I'm with, I, I change to fit to fit how they want me to act. It's like I said, you are expected and you must act like it. When you're hanging out with friends who like being loud, then you're supposed to be loud because that is what expected of you. At home, I can just be whoever I like. Or more importantly, I can be just myself. <laughs> uh, I don't really change when I'm recording, it's just that I speak my thoughts out loud rather than just keeping them to myself.
I've had daydreams. Although I although you weren't necessarily my wife. It was just some generic black silhouette of a woman. And the children weren't exactly children either. They were also just black silhouettes <laughs> that are that represent children. I'm not even sure if the silhouettes are a boy or a girl. So basically, there's more options here, but they're still random. All of your possible options are in here, which fucking sucks and makes no goddamn sense. Do these guys not do do, do these developers not know what the fuck what the fuck proper game design is? Whatever. I just needed to tell that. <laughs> My inner game designer is just fucking freaking out. I'll, I'll do this last. Alright. Mm. I'll let you find out the rest on your own. What? Uh, figure out more, more about the mod on your own. I just want to spend like 30 minutes in here. I have a fan- I- I have an original character named Violet, actually. She's this goth girl who likes to wear black and, of course, Violet. <laughs> Her hair looks a little bit more bluish in- in this mod, though. But, yeah. She's a fortune teller. Access to dark- to dark magics. And of course, if you can tell, she's a scam. <laughs> I could call her Niki. Yume, Yume is a lot nicer. Why would I call her my diary? What the fuck? That's creepy. I've once, I've once fantasized about this as well. Like me and Journal, subscribe to him by the way. <laughs> we're both YouTubers and one time we were just hanging out. And then I got this idea and I just couldn't help. I just had to say it to him. I, ha I had, the, I had, I just, I, I told, it, the conversation went a little like this. Hey Journal, can you imagine what would happen if we became famous on YouTube if we if we became celebrities and the first thing that what do you think would happen I forgot what journal said I'm pretty sure he didn't say anything but the first thing I imagined what on what would happen is people would draw fan art of us or more specifically shipping fan art <laughs> journal X remix remnold or Jernix. <laughs> ah. and yeah they're all gonna be very lewd You call that rambling? Uh, 
All right, let's see her comments on the rest of the poems of the girls. Because they exist now, ever since this update. Then I'll just let her speak her thoughts out loud to me afterwards instead of asking her questions. Lily Anon. <sighs> oh my God. Yeah, read this yourself. I'm I don't feel like reading that at least right now. Yeah, I liked it. I'd like to tell her my poems. The only poems the game the original game allowed me to make are fucking nonsense. When I first played the game, I tried making actual sentences that could actually be understood until I rea before realizing what the poem in the game was actually about. Alright, let's see here. Which were the things she never had comments on? I believe she never had a comment on the raccoon. If we're talking about the main character here, yeah, there's no way he would ever understand the poem. He's way too dumb. Not sure about the other girls, and for the player, it depends on how over-analytical they are. This is supposed to be couldn't. Judging by the reaction of the fan base, I'm pretty sure no one would give a fuck. If they did figure out that you liked stabbing yourself or cutting. Oh, resuscitate. <laughs> God dang it. For some reason, my mind thought it was an, a, an entirely different word. <sighs> Who came up with the idea of writing a poem about the beach anyway? Wait, I've already read this, actually. Hmm. 
Ghost Under the Light Part 1 had commentary had commentary already. I remember that much. Ah? Huh? All right. BRB Yuri. By the way, I literally am only wearing boxers right now, and I gotta say it's uncomfortable. Thankfully, Yuri doesn't have access to my camera. Uh, it would be such an awkward moment for him to just see my manly nipples. I heard a lot of people just in whenever they're in their home they they they're they're just in their pants or in their boxers just like how I currently am right now which how do you live like that I fiddle around with my clothes all the time <laughs> You know those things where like when you're feeling anxious or stuff you start to fiddle around with anything because it calms you down in my case, it's usually the clothes. Clothes, if anything else, it would be like a ball pen would be the second thing. It's so strange though, without part 1, the original poem is pretty depressing, but with part 2, both poems give a whole different meaning. It's so nice. Whoa, name calling. To archetypes. Yeah, people are so bitches. I have a friend and all he have un and all she ever does is complain about other people because uh other people are so different and because they're different I hate them instantly. I reason with her sometimes but she's too close minded.
sometimes showing your fear is a lot more courageous than hiding it. <laughs> Super inspirational quotes by Remix. You just seem to be really biased about poems. Wow, I keep forgetting Sayori only ever wrote two poems. The game made up for Sayori having only so little poems by giving Yuri and Natsuki an extra special poem for when Sayori left the club to be a depressed bitch, emo, kid. Sorry, that was mean. <laughs> Who was the sun in the poem? The sun is definitely a metaphor, I know that much. Uh, if people could forgive Monica for what she did in the game, then I'm pretty sure they would forgive you too if you did the exact same thing. People would forgive anyone as long as they're fucking cute little girls. Like, in Corpse Party, the game... Despite Sachiko being a bitch, there were still a few people that liked her. That just goes to show that if you're a cute anime girl, then people are willing to forgive you for anything. Would people have forgiven Hitler if she was a pretty anime girl instead of a mustached man? Alright, bye. <laughs> have a safe trip. Who knows? <laughs> if Hitler was a girl, then maybe... People would, would wouldn't be hating him as much. <laughs> Ooh, 
I never really understood this part, but now that I know how computers actually work, this poem makes so much sense, and her explanation as to what happens whenever the game closes makes a lot of sense, because computers are limited, in a sense. I don't know, it's very hard to explain, you can look it up yourself, maybe. I don't know what, how, how exactly you're supposed to Google this, but let me try to explain it as best as I can. So, the reason a computer is able to do so many things is because it's it simply turns on and off a bunch of things and when it's no longer needed it is simply replaced using the exact same things so whenever doki doki literature club or any other game for that matter gets closed the glitching and slow changing this is thanks in part to you continuing to use your computer and using other stuff your computer is replacing uh little itsy beats and parts of the of your computer to make up for the fact that it's doing other processes now so in their eye in so in their eyes it's like the things are way too confusing and too much of a mess so and that's and that's what they're experiencing uh, it's, it's so it's so meta and real it's fucking awesome But Monica said that that the trance was way too much, and and you weren't and you weren't able to form your own thoughts, which again is very similar to how computer, which is again another thing about how computers work. Because the game's closed, of course you wouldn't be able to think anymore, cause. The game won't the the computer won't allow you. It's using other processors already. It has no time for you. Ah, I blame the mods. The I blame the mods. Just fucking plot convenience. This is the exact same thing. Oh. Hey, this poem wasn't here last time. It wasn't because the karma was us. Alright, let's see if let's see if we'll trigger any new dialogue. Then I'll end the video.
<laughs> yes. That'd be really hard to program though. They made it simple for us, the player, and for the programmers themselves because if we had to actually program like something meta for Monica or something cute and simple for Natsuki, like that create that that would that'd be creatively fatiguing. <laughs> and not to mention the pro they're gonna the, the programmers are gonna have to program like an algorithm to ensure that the poems are actually for certain people. Dude, that's too much to program. Believe it or not, I didn't get this game because I thought it was a visual novel. People said it was a meta game, and for some reason I thought it was some sort of meta puzzle game like One Shot or Pony Island. I was disappointed to say the least when I found out that there were absolutely no puzzles. Uh, you don't have to. I'm actually quite the skilled poetry writer. Not to brag or anything, but I've been writing poems ever since I was seven years old and I've only been continuing to improve more and more. Ever since I started writing poetry. Yeah. <laughs> Why would I? Ah! She knows! <laughs> She knows I've been spending too much time in the in the Reddit. <laughs> I've always wanted to try doing a challenge. If you if you've been watching this far, then I, I then I challenge you to do this challenge. It's a poem writing challenge. I want you to go to the Doki Doki Literature Club poem minigame and choose 20 letter words. Choose 20 letters. Cho choose 20 words from there. And using those words, create a poem. Your poem must, must contain each and every word that you, that you chose. I don't know, I think it I think it'd be interesting. At the very least, it would help us see whether or not the words the words we use would actually make for a good poem. Otherwise, MC, the main character, is a terrible writer. <laughs> I haven't been bothered to do it because I don't really write that much poems as I used to anymore. there a way for me to know her affection level? Gee, I should really put some pants on.
Ugh. Water. Being kind in a video game is easy because games went because the game is designed to empower a player. So they design things so that it's purposely very easy to be kind. Uh, this is a very this is a game design thing that everyone does. But if the game wants you to be aggressive, they're always they're gonna like put in certain things and parts of the game to encourage and make sure that you are acting the way they're the game wants you to do to act so yeah the only reason I can be this kind to you is because the game doesn't give me a whole lot of options to be mean to you but I am a real nice person I at least I, I hope I am I try to cheer people up I engage in small talk every now and then and I like imposing some philosophies and a bunch of random garble and th and I let them do the same to me does that count I don't have a lot of friends being an introvert means I usually prefer having only a select bunch of friends who I know I'll always be enjoy rather than a fucking bunch of friends who I'll only remember as categories and their names like, oh, this is the tsundere. Oh, this is the gay. Oh, I'd much rather have... Ah, that's... M Ma Markrov. Fuck, I just re realized what a terrible name that is. He's that guy who likes being in being in bed a lot of the time, but once he starts talking, like, he he's so good at the talking. And don't forget this guy. Yeah, that kind of thinking. <laughs> Sorry, let me continue reading now. <sighs> At speaking my mind. Indeed, just be true to yourself. When I hang out with a lot of my man friends, <laughs> trash talking is common. I have no idea how culture developed this way that bros are always... That society expects that bro, bo, dude friend groups are always supposed to trash talk at each one, at one another. I don't quite enjoy it. Every now and then it's not that bad. I just wish I just wish there was an equal amount of trash talking and kindness between friends. Yeah, you see, you see this often a lot in, in, if you've read, if you're a religious type of person, you know how any saint, you know how any saint usually goes. They get fucking murderized because they, because people abuse their kindness. Just like there's a fine line between courage and stupidity. There's a fine line between being easily manipulated and being kind. I'll stick for one more conversation. Then I'll end it there.
I said 30 minutes, but look, but look at that. Almost an hour. <laughs> Wow, I'm jealous. They don't even allow us to play Uno in where I am. Can you fucking believe that? It's a fucking party game! Uno banned from our school. It's just a fucking party game. I question whether the people who work in, their, in that school are actually smart or not because... Uno isn't a gambling game, though. It's just a fucking ca casual party game. Heck, the rules even use a score-based system. The, the vanilla rules use a score-based system rather than a, bet um, a money gambling system. It's a fucking casual party game. I've seen all of the fucking web comics portraying how this actually went, and they're all equally as comedic as as when Monica told it to me. <laughs> yeah, Monica mentioned she wanted to try them as well, but because because she's the president, she has to maintain her image. How sad. Actually, <laughs> I'd share some ale with, with Monica if it wasn't for the fact that I don't like alcohol. I tried alcohol once. I don't know, maybe, maybe the person who, who get who made me drink the thing. It just it just wasn't my taste and maybe if I tried a different beer I'd actually like it but mm, I didn't like it. They're too sour or what's the word for it? Bitter? I don't know. Point is I didn't enjoy wine all that much. Multiple times. I believe people call this an existential crisis. Monica said something about this in the in her own after story on dealing with such existential crisis. Don't worry about what other thinks. Don't worry about your accomplishes accomplishments in life. The most important thing is that you be selfish and just do what you feel like you wanted to do in your life. Who cares if you die a net positive or a net negative? She's just repeating set conversations now. I think I'll stop now today right here. Oh. Yeah, I was reading, don't worry. She was asking me. I try to be healthy as much as I can. Nope. Uh, the, the thing is, I'm a fucking glutton. I eat a lot. But if you've seen, if you, if you've seen me in any recording that features my actual body, you'll know I'm very thin as fuck. I'm a fucking stick man. I have very fast metabolism.
Forget about my diet. My teeth is in worse condition. It's so bad, I can't actually get braces on because it, it'll probably just destroy my teeth even more. That's how horrible my teeth is. So any kids who are watching this, stay healthy. Don't eat candy. Brush your teeth. Well, not really not eat, don't eat candy. You can eat them sometimes, just not all the time, okay? And brush your teeth for the love of God. You do not want to be like me. Are you hearing these neighbors? Brush properly. <laughs> I wonder how good of a cook she is. You can eat your own food that you that you cook. Yes, you don't get hungry, but you're, you're living in a virtual simulation. There's literally no harm in doing it. You'd probably waste a bunch of electrical energy that the whole world could have used for something else doing so, but energy is very replaceable, you know? Those silly Italians. <laughs> God dang. Oh, nice. And anything that mentions her name, it changes. I wonder I wonder if in the older versions it just said Yuri and they changed it so that and they only recently changed it so that anything that mentions her name would change into her, her nickname. I love that post where she hides her mouth in the book. <laughs> 